good morning guys good morning everyone welcome to my channel today's lecture is tree bank so in the last lecture uh, <coughs> till parsing natural language we discussed so today now in this lecture we are going to discuss about the tree banks okay so now coming to that everyone knows that what is nothing but a bank right so it is a place so it is a place we can store something here in this place so something in the sense we can store the money or we can store some papers or we can store uh, something something in this place so based on what you stored we can call it as a bank suppose you store in the in this place money means we can call it is a money bank suppose you store the papers means we can call it as a paper bank so like that we can store here in this place a text corpus of text in the form of tree in the form of tree so that's why we can call it as a tree bank so in the tree bank we are storing especially in the natural language processing we can store the text in the bank in that place so this is nothing but a tree bank why we are calling everyone will get a doubt why can't we can call it as a text bank why we are calling it is a tree bank means so the text can be represented in the form of trees so how tree will be look like roots branches stem node like that so in the form of tree structure we can represent the data and these tree structured data can be stored in this place so that's why we are calling this is nothing but a tree bank okay so simple example here tree bank is nothing but a collection of corpus of text so corpus of text means collection of all the data all the text corpus of text annotated with a syntactic and grammatical structure so for example the text is there so run ran like that some text is there so we can we can represent based on the annotated with the syntactic and grammatical structure of a particular text in the form of tree so that's why it is called as a tree bank simply we can uh, define the tree bank is tree bank is nothing but a corpus of text annotated with syntactic and grammatical structure Okay, so this is nothing but a simple definition then here uh, all these text can be represented in the form of tree that already I said so here we need to remember one very important thing what is that very important thing means whatever we are giving input input is nothing but a text the text is nothing but a sentence so we will give a sentence as a input right so whatever the input you will give for uh, NLP mission that each sentence this each sentence can be parsed each sentence can be parsed compulsory how it will be parsed in the sense each sentence is parsed and broken down into its continuant parts by creating the hierarchical tree structure that illustrate in the relationship between the words and phrases so uh, if you go inside uh, i'll explain you with example that there you can understand how sentence can be parsed and that sentence can be broken down into a small small units that is a continuant parts by creating the hierarchical tree okay so in the hierarchical tree that nodes can be represented as a words this already we know that and relationship between each nodes can be represented by using the branches so finally we will phrase one sentence so how we will uh, uh, represent this means top down and bottom up passing already we discussed in yesterday's lecture that also here also i will take a simple example and i'll show you okay yeah now coming to one more important point here 
so each node in the tree can be represented a word here itself i said right so this nodes this nodes can be represented by a word and the branches between the nodes this node and this node the branches between the node can be represented as a relationship so that relationship may be a subject or verb connections or dependencies or anything it may be okay so this is a the way of representing the parse tree and these tree bank these uh, constructing the parse tree can follow predicate argument structure we know right predicate argument structure predicate is nothing but a verb and argument is nothing but a noun the relation between the noun and verb structural representation we can uh, represent in the form of tree parse tree okay so let me take a simple example here so this is a very simple example this example i'll draw here in the wait i'll rotate this one yes so see here this is a simple example uh, i took the example is the very selfish lion mercilessly killed his brother at the garage so this is our sentence right finally we need to construct a parse tree for this sentence this is our sentence at the garage so this is our sentence so for this sentence how we will represent the tree so we know already sentence see here sentence can follow noun phrase and verb phrase right then again the noun phrase based on our sentence we need to construct the tree right so here the noun phrase followed determinant adjective phrase and singular noun right so these three things this is a node and this is a node and here determinant what is the determinant available in our given sentence that is the right and followed another one is adjective phrase right so at the adjective phrase again this followed adverb and adjective right so adverb and adjective so adverb in our given sentence is very adjective in our given sentence is selfish right so now the very selfish was completed now coming to this side the singular noun the singular noun followed what is this lion so now the noun phrase was completed now the noun phrase was completed right so now coming to the verb phrase so here verb phrase followed please see here very clearly adverb verb noun phrase and preposition phrase right so adverb verb noun phrase and preposition phrase so based on our given input sentence this we need to remember always right so now adverb so adverb is mercilessly in our given sentence adverb is mercilessly and verb is a task relation right what this uh, lion did killed killed his brother right so verb is killed then again noun phrase coming to this noun phrase followed determinant and noun so the determinant is his and the noun is his brother right now this phase was completed now coming to here the preposition phrase followed preposition and noun phrase right so the preposition means at where at right so at then noun phrase see here noun phrase followed determinant and noun right determinant is the and noun is a place it is a garage right so now completed our tree based on our input sentence we constructed the tree very clearly right i hope everyone understand this thing right okay so now coming to another example another example very simple example with complementizer face so here in this example 
we took the complementizer so this complementizer is used for connecting the two words in our given sentence in our language we can say that the complementizer phase can connect two sentences it is used to connect the two sentences so see here this is very simple example i given everything that the light touches is our kingdom so this is our very simple example so here everything is a noun that means everything right so everything then that is a complementizer which shows that what it is everything that the light touches is our kingdom everything that makes me very happy everything that feels better so like that so adding the two sentences that is nothing but here complementizer so here we need to remember one very important thing if we want a complementizer phase we need to keep if we don't want means it doesn't matter the meaning cannot change if it if you don't want means just remove that okay there is a two options in the complementizer phase okay so for this sentence how we will construct the tree this is the sentence followed noun phrase and verb phrase right so in the noun phrase again noun phrase and complementizer phrase complementizer phrase so if you don't want means this portion will be removed right see here if you don't want means this portion will be removed if we want means we will keep right this we need to remember so in the complementizer phase we have a one complementizer by using this complementizer we are adding another sentence so here the sentence we know right sentence followed with the noun phrase and verb phrase and noun phrase followed with the determinant and noun so the determinant in our input sentence is the noun is light and verb is touches it's a relation it's a task right so now this side left side of a noun phrase was completed now coming to the predicate that is verb phrase so here verb phrase followed verb and noun phrase so verb is where it is touching is right remember this is not a stop word is then in the noun phrase determinant and noun determinant means our mine and noun is our kingdom okay so this is another way of constructing the parse tree with the complementizer with complementizer now you i think everyone understand right complementizer phrase can be used to connect the two sentences that blindly remember okay then coming to uh, a small definition of complementizer phase what is nothing but a complementizer yeah so see here complementizer is a basically a word which allows into other word into the sentences so complementizer is just a unspoken thing if we want we will keep otherwise we can remove okay so till here this is about the tree bank and here i am giving a small uh, website address if you go through this website you will find that how to construct the parse trees with the help of grammar and with the help of sentences all things will be available in this website mshong.ca syntax tree okay you will understand so if you give a grammar like noun phrase verb phrase means how it is going to construct the parse tree or if you give a sentence the mercilessly killed like that how the syntax tree will be constructed that will you can see here in the uh, website okay so then in the tomorrow's lecture in next video i'll discuss about this representation of syntactic structure thank you everyone hope everyone will understand about what is a tree bank and how to construct the syntax tree that is a parse tree there are two ways i shown here one is without a complementizer phrase and another one is with the complementizer phrase okay thank you
hope everyone understand thank you very much please support my channel thank you guys bye bye